Hey everyone, and welcome to Morning Chalk Up's YouTube channel. I'm your host, Lauren Khalil, and today we are joined with Tal Short, Reebok's product manager, because we are revealing the next iteration of the Nano, the X3. Tal, have you been able to sleep, or are you just too excited for everything that's going on with this brand new shoe? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously like Christmas all over again for us. Um, <laughs> you know, so much time and effort's been put into this one, especially. Um, I'll just tell you, part of the technology we started back like during COVID, so like 2020, we are starting like the process. So to see it come to life and get it out to the community, you know, we're obviously super stoked and excited for this one. I like it. And even staged behind you, are those a couple well, of the X3s? Yeah, can, yeah my, <laughs> my wife, my wife let me put these up for the, the actual... Um, interview and then they will be coming right down but um, I at least want to display some just of the for colors. display yeah. yeah yeah so uh this is a mantle so yeah not a foot you know footwear <laughs> shelf so I mean I love nanos but one. I don't think I, I love nanos and obviously they're like my my children but I don't think I should probably have them on the mantle but yes some they look nice colors. for now there you go. Yes. So let's talk a little bit. Here's a closer look. Right off the bat, what I noticed is kind of the um I don't know what you guys call it, but how it glimmers, maybe for yeah. like running. Um, talk about the colors, the design, everything that we see in this beautiful shoe. Yeah. So that those first colors, so there's the a white one that I have here behind me, and then that one that you have is part of our hype pack. So what that is, is we, we created a little bit of buzz with these colorways. So obviously red, white, and blue are very, you know, traditional to kind of Reebok. So that was one, um, and they always sell well. So that little extra hit of like what we call like an iridescent hit is just to have a little bit of fun, a little bit of flash. Um, we obviously have much, you know, like safer colors that people are <laughs> traditionally used to. So I don't want people to tune out right then. They're like, wait, what are they doing? So obviously we've got our black gums and white gums. And so obviously for all you guys that, aren't as crazy as you know maybe some of the others but um yeah so we have a wide range of colors those that one particular and the white one are, are part of our hype uh collection that you'll be able to get you know today on on today on 120 so so now that you've made it this is the 13th iteration correct that is correct when you've gone through that many <clears throat> different nanos is it hard to continue upgrading and make sh making sure that people like love the next uh version better than the previous one yeah i mean that's why we do so much like consumer insights and and i'll tell you um you know we look we read all the you know the comments so when we launch the x2 obviously we're in the middle of building the x3 and so we read those comments and we can actually action some things um, so I'll give you one example on the X2, some people were like, Hey, the, the toe box is, you know, the material feels very wide on my foot. Um, is one of those things that we looked at, we're like, all right, well, maybe we should look at the adjustment of like the pattern to make it feel a little bit more, I would say snug, not tight, but just feels a little bit more snug, um, for those consumers. And so, um, that was like just one example. So yeah, we're always listing consumers, um, definitely getting this shoe out in front of people and have it tested. I would say the X3 is, is definitely one of the most tested um, that we've ever had. Um, and a lot of it um, is the technology uh, that it, we'll probably get to here in a second. But yeah, yeah, always always a challenge. But, um, you know, we use the consumer's kind of feedback on what they're looking for. Because, yes, we're going to try to push them somewhere. But we want to make sure it's somewhere that they want to go and that, that they're actually going to, you know, it's an upgrade. And that's the promise we always have is we're not going to bring out the next one until we have something mm -hmm. that's better. Um, and we actually brought this one up earlier because we were so excited about it. So it's about a, oh, wow. you know, a couple, yeah, like a couple of weeks, maybe a month earlier than what we've done in the past. And it's just because this shoe we feel like is even better than the X2 and um, pretty much better than anything out there. So we're, we're excited for this one. And that's one of the things that I think, or one of the reasons why I think so many people love the Nano, because it is supposed to be the true cross training shoe, whether you're running, doing rope climbs, box jumps, pistols, like it's the shoe that you turn to for really anything. So let's break it down into some of um, the technology behind sure. the design of the shoe and, and why this does make for the best everyday shoe for CrossFitters. Yeah, so I, I'll kind of walk you through, and I, I think there's one really big component to this shoe that is is new to the X3, new to the Nano franchise, and we're calling it our lift and run chassis system. So lift and run, obviously, are the two ends of the spectrums, right? So when you're doing cross training, <laughs> yeah. doing any sort of CrossFit, right, there's there's lifting and there's running. Those you couldn't get from a product shoe build. Those are very different, right? Lifting's flat, 
or an actual Olympic lifting shoe, or you have running that's super cushioned. So we obviously, when we're building a Nano, we're trying to figure out a way to do both those things. Um, and you know, traditionally, just like a great CrossFitter, they've got to be really good at both those. It can't be specialized in one of those areas. Mm-hmm. It's got to be able to, you know, if you need to handle an 800 meter run or even a mile, you know, in our past nanos, that might not have been a, a great thing to experience, but now we make sure that, you know, that running component is there. And what we're excited to share is this new kind of run and lift technology where the idea is that the big really kind of key story is in the heel. So this dome shaped piece of plastic. So this is a really hard piece of plastic. You see, the idea is that when you're, you're squatting, you have some decent weight on your back. So I'd say moderate to heavy weight. When you squat, that dome piece actually flattens out. And it just, it makes for a nice stable base. But when it's not, when it's just, you're doing body weight or you're doing even light weight, you won't even notice that in there. So what we've done is we've surrounded it with our float ride energy foam, which is our running foam. That's, you know, award-winning foam. So the idea is that when you're just sitting there, you don't even feel it at all. Um, but when you need it to be kind of stiff and hard, it's there um, for you. So it's kind of an adaptability based on kind of what you're doing that day. Um, so yeah, once again, and it's built into the heel clip. So you feel extra, you know, safe and stable in there. Um, and the good news is you won't even really feel it. We've tested this for almost three years now. And the, the idea is you almost don't even know it's there. And we kind of put it on the inside and you can see where it sits on the shoe. So this kind of oval shape is where it actually is in the shoe. Um, you know, we felt like with that type of technology, keeping it on the inside, you know, being able to tell the story, we know that, you know, our hardcore nano fans, they're going to go on the website, they're going to read all about the technology. So not, yeah, yeah, so we didn't want to like put it on the outside where it was just overbearing for people, because we obviously want to make sure the the shoe is still stylish, everything. Um, And then the one other thing I'll just call it quickly is the our our upper material. So it's still our flex weave material. So we've been doing this for the last, I think nano seven was the first time. So obviously the last six have used some sort of flex weave. Um, and we're really excited about this one. It's even lighter. It's got a better hand feel than where we've been in the past. So it feels and looks like a knit, but it has all the durability and kind of stability components that you need for a training shoe. So those two components together, and I think the lift and run being really the hero of the shoe, but then also with our flex weave material, um, definitely believe this is from a tech standpoint, probably mm-hmm. our most technology advanced kind of nano moving forward. So. Would you say that that is the biggest upgrade from the X2 to the X3? Yes, absolutely. So I think you're going to notice that when you're lifting, you're going to feel even more stable than you were with even the X2, um, but not lose any kind of the runnability and more comfort that you that you saw in the X2 as well. So yeah, we're excited for it. Well, and just thinking about those things, it is from an outsider looking in, somebody who obviously doesn't work in the design of shoes, it is such a weird concept that you could create a shoe that allows you to run and lift in because so many times you see athletes swapping out shoes um, when they go to lift or when they're going outside for a run is the goal for you to really create that hybrid where whether you're going for a PR uh, clean and jerk or you're going on a five mile run you want to use the same shoe for it. Yeah, I like to think of it as like almost like a suitcase shoe. Like if you're going away or traveling, like it's the one shoe you can take. And then whatever you, because you know, when you, when you travel, you're not sure of like what equipment you're going to have or what you're going to do unless you've been there before. So ideas, it's, yeah, it's one of those things. Is it the shoe that we recommend for like the day that you're going for your heaviest, you know, clean and jerk? Maybe not. We got, we've got wonderful lifters for that legacy lifter. And then, you know, if it is a, you know, something probably over a 5k, you should, and that's all you're doing is running. Obviously a running shoe would be something, but the idea is the nano can kind of bridge the gap between those two and be very, very good at both. So it's one of those, yeah, you could always have run in nanos, but, and, and other, you know, cross it shoes, but how does your foot feel afterwards? How does it feel during it? So we want to make sure those experience on both sides of the spectrum feel really strong. And you never know, because especially you, you have high level athletes like Rich Froning that are going to these competitions. And sometimes you just got to grab a pair of shoes and you have no idea what the event's going to even be until you're already dressed and ready to perform. The old prepare for the unknown and unknowable is something we have on our whiteboard at, at work just to make sure that we always remember, like we never know, you know, what's going to be thrown out there. Like, you know, the, the year they threw the pegboard in there was <laughs> very yeah. open for us. We're like, wait, <laughs> we didn't test it on plexiglass. So like, I remember sweating. In the oh, I didn't Carson even think stands. of that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was one. Will they work? 
Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was one of those. I remember in Carson, it was really hot that day too. I'm like, are they going to melt on the shoe? Like, I don't know that the glass is hot. Like, I don't know. That was a, hopefully they don't throw any more curveballs like that. But um, yeah, we're always prepared. <laughs> yeah, we're always prepared. What is some of that feedback that you get from, like, whether it's uh, athletes that are high level or just your everyday athletes as you're going through the comments? What are some of the comments that you've gotten that you've really taken to heart and you're like, okay, we're going to be super intentional about this to incorporate it in our next version of the nanos. Yeah. I mean, I think first and foremost, we always worry about the comfort, right? So we, one thing with the X3 is, and hopefully you'll notice it when you put it on, but like the first time you put it on, it feels like it's ready to go out of the box. Right. So a lot of times when you have these high end, you know, whatever it is product, it usually takes a little bit for it to break in. And, and some of it is this just like first feel comfort, um, and one thing that we always talk about is like, we want the person to feel really good in the nano, like all day. So if she, you know, if she's going to do a workout in the morning and then go to brunch with her friends, like we don't want her to have to take off her shoe. Right. So that's why we make sure like the design. Yeah. In the back, we have a little bit of fun, but as you'll see from like a toe down perspective, you know, it would go really nice with her tights. So like, instead of like, you know, being just a CrossFit shoe that, or, you know, a training shoe where she just has in her bag and it's just one of her, you know, items that she brings, like she can wear it to the gym, she can wear it after the gym. So that, that is something that, you know, we've been focused on just reading the comments, people, you know, they just want one shoe to do everything. Obviously, you know, we're trying to do that with the X3 and we feel like we've gotten there. So how do you decide which color you're going to wear? (laughs) Me personally? Yeah. Or just, Oh man. Give a, a give br- us the tips for people. <laughs> well, no, I'm a I always like the brights. I'm a I'm a quiet Me too. kind of apparel top and bottom, and then I go explosion. I, obviously, as being the footwear guy, like I, I've got to shout. So I always wear the most <laughs> obnoxious. But to be honest, I'm always wearing the next version. So you never see what I'm wearing because I always have to like block it out because I'm always testing. If people the follow version. you on Instagram, oh, yeah, you always well, you never follow. Yeah. If so we'll, you ever um, want a sneak peek, you're not going to get it from Tal's Instagram. <laughs> no, absolutely not. They will. The lawyers are on me like hawks, so it's good. So, is there a certain amount of uh, color waves that you look to bring out for each version? A, a certain number, or how how does the color come into play? Yeah, I mean, I think I think as you know, as you just look into a CrossFit, you know, gym or even just in a gym, you'll notice how many different variations of people and what they want, right? So. The good news is we have the capabilities, um, you know, we have the the ability to do a bunch of different colors, right? And so we have the loud and crazy ones, and then we have the more basic, you know, we're always going to have the white gum and, and black gum in there. We know traditionally, you know, we obviously see what sells and what doesn't, but um, we've been definitely taking an approach where we, we step up our color a little bit more, especially on the women's side. I think we've seen some success with the women, some of the pastels and things that maybe we wouldn't have done in the past. We're seeing come around. Um, you know, we have a full color trend team that lets us know, like, here's the colors of the season. Um, we always have stories. And the idea for us is to keep like the nano front of the mind for all consumers throughout the year. So you'll see we have drops, you know, traditionally what we've done, you know, we have drops, you know, almost every month we have some sort of story, maybe collaborations. So collaboration has been a big thing. You've probably seen yeah. quite a few just different, you know, fun collaborations that it's really cool because we know a lot about this, you know, CrossFit consumer that we also, you know, a lot of times when we do these surveys, we ask, all right, you do CrossFit, what else do you do? Like, what else are you into? And, and we'll find like what movies and shows they're into. And we use that when we start building collaborations. So it makes sense from a, you know, why are they doing a nano, you know, street fighter? It's well, cause you know, so many of these consumers played it or love it. And so, um, yeah, we look at that and you know, the idea is to keep the excitement going throughout the year, uh, never getting complacent and just, you know, keep nano going, you know, this always on, no days off kind of approach that we have for the nano team. So now that they will be ready for purchase, what are the first color waves that people can expect to see if they want to go and get their hands on a pair? Yeah, so you'll see a nice little mix, right? So we have the ones that you and I just showed, kind of that hype colorway first. We've got the the black gums, the white gums, which I, I personally think this is one of our most beautiful colors, both men's classic. and women's. classic. I love it. Yep. So we have a unisex kind of white with a little black stripe as well. We have, we'll have a women's white gum men's and women's black gum. So uh, the traditional colors, we, we kept, you know, some that are safe. And then we, we did bring in some seasonal colors, some reds and blues as well. So, um, and then you'll see colors trickle out as we go. But yeah, we, we have a nice little collection for everyone. And, and you'll be able to see all the colors at once, um, um, which will be nice. So you can kind of plan for what, what you want. So we're excited. 
plan your outfit around the shoes. Correct. Always. That's how we roll. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Well, tail short. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to go get a workout in with the Nano X threes. We will have links in our description so other folks can try to get their hands on a pair as well. Yep, and just thank you guys. Thanks to the community. We we love our CrossFit and you know the Nano fans out there. Like you guys make our job and you know you push us to be better. So we just we thank you guys and you know appreciate what you guys you know stand for with the Nano and, and tell your friends, tell your gym mates all about the Nano. So excited. And I think you guys will love the X3. It might be your favorite yet, even though it's an odd number, mm. which I know is not, yeah, which is not <laughs> always, but even if it's 13, I don't care. We feel like this one's good to go. So it's going to be lucky number 13 after these. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly.